Coming up on TLDR from GeekWire. A device that lets you use the internet with just your mind. The secret's out. What we know about Amazon's home robot project. And Lime Bike Scooter in Seattle. From GeekWire, it's TLDR, your daily rundown on all things tech. Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. Our first story is about a project out of MIT that could completely change the way we use the internet. Graduate student Arnav Kapoor spoke about the project, which is called Alter Ego, on Sunday night's episode of 60 Minutes. He wore the Alter Ego headpiece to show how he could search the internet without lifting a finger. It was pretty unbelievable because he didn't seem to say anything out loud to the device. Alter Ego is a wearable system. To use it, you would just have to use subtle internal movement to communicate a specific command or question. It's kind of like silently Googling something in your head. The electrical signals that the brain normally sends to the vocal cords are intercepted and sent to a computer, and then information is communicated to your inner ear with vibrations. MIT Media Lab says computing AI and the internet would weave into human personality as a second self and augment human cognition and abilities. Now that sounded kind of scary to me until I learned that Kapoor was able to order a pizza with just his mind and an alter ego device. That is amazing. My only question is, when can I get one? In other news, you may have invited Alexa into your home, but are you ready for her to be rolling around your living room? Amazon is reportedly working on a secret line of robots for the home. According to Bloomberg, the now not-so-secret project is codenamed Vesta after the Roman goddess of home and family, and the prototype robots can navigate homes like a self-driving car. Amazon has many of the pieces in place to pursue the market for home robots. In addition to having platforms like Alexa and AWS, the company already makes robots for warehouses, thanks in part to its 2012 acquisition of Kiva Systems. Bloomberg says Amazon could begin testing the robots in employees' homes this year and possibly even release them to the public next year. And finally, Lime Bikes Electric Scooters made a cameo in Seattle this weekend at a bike rodeo safety event for kids, and GeekWire's Todd Bishop was there to test them out. Shareable electric scooters from Lime Bike, Spin, and Bird are already being used in San Francisco and Southern California, but they aren't allowed in Seattle yet. In the cities where they have rolled out, the Lime S scooters cost a dollar to unlock and 15 cents per minute to ride. And there are also some concerns about the scooters becoming a nuisance. The New York Times has reported scenes of scooters strewn across wheelchair ramps and in doorways. However, GeekWire can confirm that this is an extremely fun way to get around. You can read more about Todd's experience testing out the electric scooters at geekwire.com. Well, that's all we have for today, but before we sign off, I just want to make a quick correction on our last video. On Friday, I misspoke and said Earth Day was on April 30th. It's actually on April 22nd. I don't know why I said that. My bad. Sorry for the mistake. As always, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss an episode. You can also add TLDR as a daily flash briefing on your Alexa device. I'm Starla Sampaco. Thank you so much for watching TLDR. We'll see you tomorrow.